Ray's Repair Zone. Well, today we're going to talk about uh, propane burner tips. This one here, this is a jug that I, or the can I filled, you know it's full and you know it works. This one here does not, I can't get no pro propane, just barely. Oh, here it comes now. But I'm going to make it better here. What happens is sometimes it gets dirty. There's a little filter inside that just unscrews. Basically, it's like a little, little valve. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give it a shot. I'm just using brake and parts cleaner. And I'll just give it a little shot of uh, air or of this cleaner. You don't see much coming out. No. Then I'll give it some air now. First I'll give it a spray with some air, I open up this valve, see what's happening. It's right on the end too, there's a kind of a little baffle in there and stuff, so it could be plugged somewhere along the lines there. So what I'll do is I'll just spray that in there, let it go down, hopefully it'll start dripping out. Then I'll open and close this valve a little bit, and maybe it'll clean the, clean the valve itself. Now the valve is open. I'm gonna give it some air. Another orifice in here. And that could be plugged in. It's just a little tiny, tiny, tiny hole right in there. I don't know if you'll ever see it even. I might have to sand it off for you. Basically that meters your, your fuel besides your valve itself. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't, I'm quite, my eyes aren't the greatest, but I, I think I could see a hole in there. Hang on a second, I gotta get some crooked spot. I don't know what you call it, but this is 1500 grit. We call it crocus cloth here. Why? I don't know. That's what I learned. Remember the tip the way it looked before. Okay, I can start seeing the orifice now coming out of there. This is a small one. Now you can see the orifice right. Let's see if you're in the screen even. Well, 
Okay, well, there's a little tiny hole right in the center wall, kind of off to the side. I don't know why on this one. We'll see what happens here. We're going to blow this all out. Oh, yeah, now I can see. Now I can feel with my thumb a little bit of air coming out of here. So now we know everything is going properly the way it's supposed to. So it should work. Everything back together. Gas goes in first before this little guy. Basically, this here is what opens up the, the tank. It pushes down on the Schrader valve or Schroeder valve, and then you get the fuel to the to the to the valve. We we'll shut this valve off now. Screw it on. Oh yeah, we've got all kinds of. Got to go. Just barely open it up now before I had it cranked and it was like that now it's there now we got a good torch good working torch again move it over so you can see there good good working torch before it was wasn't working Thanks for watching.